Hi everyone, this is my first YouTube video. I'm uh, going to talk to you over the course of all my films that I'm hoping to bring to you about, uh, well, freedom being one of them. But overall, at first we're going to have to start with understanding how, while we think we're free, we're actually not. And then we're actually being controlled on a daily basis, at a subconscious level, by symbols, words, um, language and such like, where um, we don't really pay attention to what we're actually talking about or what, we're, what, what symbols we're actually being presented with and whether we realise it or not they do actually have a powerful effect on us. So for my first example uh, I'm going to start with a big one but believe me this is not isolated there are hundreds and hundreds of examples that I'm going to show you over time. But the first one just to get your attention for those of you who think it's just another you know whatever I don't know something of little value um, I want to talk about corporate control um, and um, how we are enslaved on a daily basis. So in the modern work environment, or in many, especially large corporate work environments, we're required to wear certain outfits. Funnily enough, I am, well, I spent many, many, many years of my life working in office environments. I've worked for police forces, I've worked for parliaments, I've worked for big finance institutions for the largest media company in the world. I have worked for many, many of these organisations. And uh, I've worn one of these for much of it. Let me see, can you see that? That is a lovely, well it's not lovely, but it's just your average sort of, oops, I need to get this camera orientation. Here we go, it's a shirt, isn't it? Yes. Here we go. There's one of the ties I used to wear. Now, these are uh, powerful symbols in our world. You know, people walk around wearing a suit, you know, they're in business, you know, they want to be taken seriously and they're maybe representing somebody. And um, we, you know, a lot of us pay a lot of money for our suits and for our shirts to have them all nice and crisp and all the rest of it. But let's just look at these symbols for a moment. What's this called? This is a collar. What are these? These are cuffs, aren't they? Cuffs. And this is a tie. A collar, cuffs, and a tie. Just because they're pretty and they're not made of metal doesn't mean they're not the same as the collar, the cuffs, and the ties that are on slaves. In Britain, we've been celebrating the abolishment of slavery this year for 200 years since slavery was abolished. If that's the case, my friends, then why are millions of us still wearing collars, cuffs and ties on a daily basis? Worse, why have we forgotten that these are symbols of slavery? Just because multi-generationally we have forgotten about these things and we've learned to love the trappings of our slavery, it doesn't mean it's not slavery. It doesn't mean these still don't mean the same thing. They don't represent the same thing. How many organisations won't let you work for them unless you wear these? Really important food for thought, people out there. And um, so, you know, just think about that for a bit. Collared, cuffed and tied. You know, how many of us are collared, cuffed and tied? Anyway. For those of you who may be interested in future videos, as a tidbit to do with gender energy, which is something I will talk about in the future as well because it's something that we have kind of neglected in our modern world, there's an interesting reason as to why it's only the men that are tied. Speak to you all later.